welcome to today's episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Ife West. If this is your first time on this channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place for separating facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about the plant called uh, Egusi Melon. For those um, people that are familiar with African food, this is a plant that you will know very, very well. There is something uh, we call a goosey melon seed. It is actually the seeds of uh, a certain species of the melon plant. And uh, we eat it a lot in Africa, i.e. in Nigeria. It is uh, one of our stable food. In fact, we have what they call a goosey soup. So we use this particular a goosey to cook a goosey soup. It's a very, very sweet and popular delicacy, and uh, we eat it a lot in Africa, especially West Africa. So, uh, this video was necessitated by the fact that uh, we have some misconceptions concerning this uh, goosey. Apart from the health benefits, it also has spiritual benefits as well, which I'll be talking about. But uh, some people have a different school of thought on this. Why everybody loves to eat a goosey, which is of course one of my favorite soups as well. Many people think that uh, spiritually there are some negative connotations to it. For instance, some people believe that uh, if you see yourself in the dream eating a goosey soup or breaking a goosey, it is very very bad luck. Why some people think that if you see yourself in the dream breaking the goosey seed it is good luck and uh, somebody brought this to my attention for me uh, this is my own personal opinion or not a general consensus a goosey is a very good uh, food i eat it a lot in fact um, it's one of my lovely dish it has a lot of head benefits for people that uh, are trying to eat healthy it is something you will recommend it is rich in vitamin a b c it uh, boosts the immune system, stretches the body, make you look young. It's a uh, super food. If you want to talk about super food, this is one of the super food. So people don't play with it. There's nothing bad about eating a goosey. You can't go wrong with it. Matter of fact, I have it right here. This is um, the green one. We have white a goosey, but uh, we also have green. Many people don't know that we have. Uh, green and goosey. We also have black and goosey. These ones they look white on the outside, but inside it is black Okay, these ones are uh, you're gonna find in Asia. These two are the major kind of egg goosey You're gonna find in Asia. This this ones the Asian people they don't cook egg goosey soup They don't know what it means and uh, They just eat it. What they do is that they get the seed. They just eat it the way we eat granuts They eat it like snack pick it one by one just be showing it Drinking beer, drinking water, discussing. This is the way they eat it here. They don't know that we use this thing to cook soup. And uh, this one too, they do the same thing to it. This one has already been soaked in salt water. Then uh, it's a bit salty. You have to break it open. Then you have to eat it too, like a snack or something like that. This one is not good for cooking. Okay, this one is not good for cooking. It's just good to eat a snack. It's very stressful to even break open. It's for people that I will say if you don't have anything to do, you want to keep yourself busy. This is the kind of thing you need. So I kept it here. I bought this one a long time. I don't really... I have eat some. I got tired of eating it, so I just kept it somewhere. But this one is the one I used to cook. I discovered this um, green egg goosey when I was in South Korea uh, some years back for a PhD program. There we are. It's very difficult to get. In South Korea, it was very difficult to get um, African food and it was quite expensive too. So I was walking around the supermarket one day. I saw this. They were selling it as a snack once again in the place that they normally sell snacks. So I bought it. I got it home. I opened it. I broke it. I found out that it was exactly as a goosey. Inside was white color. And uh, the only difference is that it is green on the outside. So I, that day I instantly prepared a goosey soup. I add my tomatoes and pepper and uh, my onions and I grind everything together. I bought some vegetables and uh, it came out as a goosey soup. So since then I've been using this green goosey to cook in Asia. Why I use it is that uh, it's uh, the same thing. I researched it. It is a goosey but it's green. But this one is not popular in West Africa. 
but they have it in Cameroon, but in Nigeria, people don't know about green egusi. We only know the white one. Okay, if you tell them an egusi is green, they will be shocked. But hey, I'm holding it right here. It exists. Okay, so I eat this all the time. This is what I am using here as my egusi. When people ask me, how do you cope with uh, the Asian food? You are far from home. We still get by. I tell them, we have okra here. We have different kinds of vegetables here. We have tomatoes and pepper. We have catfish, we have tilapia, we have all sorts of fishes here. The difference is that the way they cook their food is different from the way we at home cook our food. So when I want to cook a goosey soup, I get my tomatoes and pepper, I get this one, I blend it together. Then uh, for red oil, there's something that is like red oil, the they are red oil is very light, I use it like that. doesn't make any difference. I have a lot of vegetables, I add their fish inside and I get my goosey soup. Then uh, for my eba, when people ask me how you get eba, it's by expensive. I simply use a um, baking powder. This is a um, baking flour, all-purpose baking flour. You can see it here. This is what we use for eba and fufu, because we cannot get it here. For you to get eba to eat eba here, it's real expensive. You can spend like up to ten thousand naira in plates just to say you want to eat eba from Africa. So what we generally use for eba is baking flour. This one is an abomination in Africa for you to use baking powder to eat soup. People there, they, don't, they will not even hear it because they have a lot of gari, they have a lot of fufu, a lot of um, pande a lot of sis to sis. So nobody will ever think that uh, baking powder for baking cake, you are going to use it to eat fufu. But uh, lo and behold, people in Asia, African people, this is what they use to eat fufu, baking flour. You can call it baking flour. This is what we use. We get this baking flour. This one is bromate free. Okay, that is what I wrote on it. So this is what I buy. The same way we make eba. This is the same way we use this baking flour. So this is what I use for my fufu. Okay, I have not died. I have, I have been doing this for more than 10 years now. I am still alive. I have been eating baking flour as fufu. I am not dead yet, okay? <laughs> For those people thinking that it will gum your stomach, I am not committing suicide. This is what everybody uses. If you go to African restaurant now, you have the option of eating a bar. That is if they have it. If you ask for African food, what they will give you is baking flour that they have mixed. This is what they do. They do it in Korea, they do it in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Philippines, in India. Baking flour is what we eat as fufu. For those people back home that are thinking that uh, it's shocking, when you come here too, you will eat the same baking flour. So this is my gari. You see it all purpose baking flour for baking cake biscuits. This is what we used to do gari. Then um, I use this one to do my gari. And this is my melon, the green one. I use it well, I am still alive. It serves the purpose. We eat in African food here too. We have okra here, we have catfish here, we even have um, this and salmon, the one they call okboroko. We have the fresh one, we have salmon from Japan, there's salmon all the way from Norway. Then uh, for fish, meat, we have goat, we have and uh, chicken, all those things. If you are a meat eater, this is the place for you. So, me, I focus more on fish diets. I eat meat sometimes, but not regularly, just to show that uh, togetherness or something. I eat sometimes outside, but in my house, I use fish to, to cook, okay? So this is the baking powder here. This is the melon. Then for the agusi, what this will do for you is that uh, if you see yourself in the dream uh, breaking agusi, for me, it's not that kind of dream that I want to see myself breaking agusi because Breaking it is very very stressful. So for me, that kind of dream will be a dream of suffering. No? I don't dream to see myself breaking a goosey. No? I have never dreamed that kind of dream. For me, it's a dream of cause and problem based on my interpretation because this is hardship thing. It's better to see yourself eating it than to see yourself breaking it. Okay. So for those people saying breaking a goosey is prosperity thing, for me, I don't want to see have that kind of prosperity. No? I have not dreamed that kind of dream before. I don't want to see myself suffering in my dream. This is the end of story. This egusi is very good for many things. For women that uh, want to ovulate, that are looking for the fruit of the womb, 
you need to be eating this thing very very much it is good for that department i'm not saying to patronize you it is it has been confirmed you can go and verify this one with an okra leaf for those of you that know okra that tall plants i have talked about it before you get okra leaves and uh, a goosey use the okra leaves as your vegetable to cook with this egusi soup okay when you want to ovulate or something if you are trying to look for fruit of the womb you need to be using okra leaf and this thing to be cooking regularly it's going to stimulate that part of tan and uh, make everything to be functioning well increase your chance of getting pregnant okay it is also good for men too it's good for many things okay it has a lot of head benefits too numerous to mention the botanical name is Citrullus colonsensis. The way they call all these names is shocking for me. The name is on the screen. Okay, look for the name, find this plant. You can get it anywhere. I believe this green one you can get it in all countries because I have it here in the Philippines. I've seen it in Thailand, I've seen it in, uh, in uh, Malaysia, I've seen it in South Korea, and it's also here. Yeah, the white one is uh, mostly in Africa. You're going to get a white one okay but this one is very cheap this one is less than um, five dollars for a pack and uh i've only eaten it twice so this one here still have two soup two pot of soup is still here with this uh, goosey that is waiting i have to cook two cooking is left with this uh, goosey that is here in this bottle okay try to get your hands on it if you are living in asia you are looking for a goosey find this green one they sell it in the area they sell those they are snack you're going to find it there or you can get it online type the name you can order it you can use it to cook your egg soup it's the same egg goosey it smells like a goosey tastes like a goosey the only thing that it is green on the outside if you break it the inside is white okay so this is what i use though i've shown you guys today and uh egg goosey is very good for body i want you guys to do your research about this uh plant and start eating it is very very good beneficial one of our stable food in west africa okay so uh this is what i have for you today questions or comments are welcome please like and share this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell close to the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get my videos as soon as i release them and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video as usual so take care and bye peace